hello everyone in this video i'm gonna talk about um setting up a planter which has snapdragons in it and pansy plants in it so here is the container where i have had my pansy plants throughout the summer and they performed really well throughout the summer they were loaded with blooms and here in zone 8 we don't really get hot summer so these plants perform really well so they were loaded with blooms they are of different colors and really pretty so i did a video about these plants three months ago so i will include the link in the description box or you can click in the top right corner here to know more about these beautiful pansy voila plants if you are looking to get something um for like it's really long long blooming plants so if you live in mild climate where you don't get really hot summer or really cold winter these plants are excellent performers and they are really easy to start from seeds i actually i also started from them from seeds three months ago so i saved a seed pod of these plants and i sowed these seeds and uh, then i did a transplant video as well um a few weeks later so i will include the link of that video too if you want to know how to start these plants from the seed so basically these are really easy to grow and here you can see this is a little update of those plants which i started from seeds so i transplanted them in, in these bigger pots so they are like two or three plants in each pot and uh, because my greenhouses uh, torn apart these days so i have brought them indoors so i have put them in the windowsill where they get like morning sun um few hours if it's clear but we don't really get much uh, sunlight these days so basically they are doing really well indoors mm, anyway so uh, i hope they will soon be ready to transplant it in the ground once the um, soil temperatures rise or like i can transplant them in containers or hanging baskets they do really well so they i absolutely adore these plants so these plants basically it were done blooming at the end of summer and they were looking quite rough so i trimmed them back and now they have got uh, these leaves again and they are still doing okay i think they will be ready to bloom again in the spring so i want to save these plants uh, during the winter and i have got another planter with snapdragons in it so i want to transplant these pansy plants from this pot into that planter so this planter will be free for another use Pansies are hardy in our zone 8 and uh, actually they are quite hardy they can survive mild winter frost as long as they don't go too long so I think it will be okay to transplant these plants now uh, into the other part so basically it's just to save some space so um, like tidy up the garden because they are this part is like looking a little bit odd and the other part is looking a little bit odd so I want to combine both of them. So if you are enjoying watching this video, please give subscribe to my channel so you can stay updated about all my uh, gardening videos. So this is the snapdragon plant which I have had in an other planter and basically I started these plants a little bit late and they are still doing okay. So snapdragons are hardy through zones 8 to 9 and basically they do really well in cool temperatures and they can um, bloom throughout winter as well as long as mild winter so you can see there are five plants in this container and they are looking good so they are like one to two feet tall and one of them has got blooms on it and the other one is getting ready for blooms and there is quite a lot of space available in this container so i have had some other plants in this container which were done blooming and all gone so i have removed those plants and basically the container is like half filled now so it has the capacity to have more plants in it so i have thought to combine my pansy plants in this planter so basically i had two pots one with pansy plants and the other with snapdragon plants and the pansy plants had a cucumber plant in it and these snapdragon plants had a watermelon plant in it so both of those plants have gone now and there is space available in each 
planter so basically i want to combine pansy plants with snapdragon plants because both of them are hardy through zones eight to nine and they do well throughout the winter so i have want to combine them and free up the space in the other container so i can start something else in that container so uh, i'm going to dig up the plants from the pansy planter and going to place them in here so here i think there are five six pansy plants in this which is basically a grow bag and it's quite big but pansy plants don't really root too deep so you don't need to dig too deep you just need a gardening fork and if you just go two inches deep and two inches apart from the plants so you don't want to disturb the roots of plants you just need to be careful that you dig a little bit far uh, like two inches three inches far from the plant so and two inches three inches deep so the roots are not disturbed so like i had pulled out one plant with all the soils around the root and this is an other plant it's like uh, these plants are quite trailing they grew like up to one foot i think and they have got like multiple branches so when you pick the plants you want to get the dirt with the roots of plants um, but you don't need too much dirt you can um, shake off the excess dirt but uh, the roots should not be exposed so it's a good idea to handle the roots carefully and what i'm doing basically i'm just taking the plant with the roots uh, and putting it in the other container i'm not like um, uh, like uh, planting these plants in the other container i'm just setting them up in the other container because the other container has quite quite like long lip like four five inch uh, lip so i'm just putting them in there which i show you in a minute so here i think there are five six plants and three or four of them are quite big and two or three of them are small but it's okay they were all good plants and they all were all like loaded with blooms they are of different colors like white yellow blue purple orange like lots of different colors and as i said if you want to know more about these plants i have got the other video uh, on my channel which you can watch for further details so basically uh, you just want to dig the plants carefully without disturbing the roots and um, winter is not basically an ideal uh, time of the year to do transplantings or things like that but if you uh, want to free up some space or you want to combine plants that like uh, have the same growing conditions you can do that and um, they will be they will be okay anyway so they can survive a little bit of transplanting so here i have got an announcement for you i'm giving away a 10 dollar amazon gift card if you are interested in winning this card and you want to enter the competition you need to subscribe to my youtube channel comment under the video and share it on facebook and tag gardening wise so hurry before it ends so here i have uh, um uh, placed all the plants in the empty space uh, of this container as you can see so i have just uh, put them like without burying like without digging the holes in this planter and uh, putting them in the holes no i just um, placed them on the top of the soil which was already in this container and now i'm just filling up the empty gaps with more soil around these plants so um, these roots are already compact and packed with soil and i have just placed them and i'm just putting the extra soil around the corners and in any other holes wherever they are and basically once once you have done complete um, this process you just want to water the plants uh, and um, basically we do get lots of rains these days so the soil is all already wet and moist so i don't have to even water it but if you live somewhere where it's dry you may want to make sure that you water the plants consistently even if it's like winter times you should still keep checking on the plants and check the soil like you can um, put your finger in the soil one inch deep and if it feels dry then you need to water the plants otherwise if it's cold uh, and uh, moist then it's okay you don't need to uh, over water the plants 
uh, and uh, with regards to fertilizing you don't need to fertilize too much during the winter times i did add a little bit of uh, fertilizer in the plant this planter after i finished planting these plants so i just sp uh, like uh, sprinkled some uh, fertilizer around the plants and basically the um you have got like different types of fertilizers available in the market you can dissolve the fertilizer in the water and you can um add it alongside the water or you can just add it around the base of the plants and it basically that's low release fertilizer so it releases slowly and slowly and then it gives the uh, all the nutrients that plant need to survive so this planter is looking fine i think it will do really well throughout the winter and with spring i can hope for more blooms and if i imagine like these uh, snapdragon plants basically are like two feet tall with all these pretty pink light pink blooms and these pansy plants go up to like one feet tall one foot tall with all different colors so i think this, this will be um, a gorgeous container in the spring and i still have some space left in the container which can, i can fill up with lobelias and alizum plants once the spring starts so let's see how it goes if you want to stay updated Mm, you can follow my channel so if you found this video useful please give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel as it helps me to make more videos and click on the bell button so you receive all the notifications your opinion matters to us so please leave a comment thank you very much for watching bye